The software effects tutorial is made possible by ajuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool looking audio spectrum inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Hey guys, make sure to check out I Want It All Bundle from AE Juice which contains over 5000 animated elements, transition, presets and titles for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Oh, and they also have a free starter pack. It has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition this is gonna be our music placeholder com so let's call this music and we don't need any visuals so we don't need to keep any high resolution so i'm just gonna you know set this at the lowest resolution that is 4 by 4 30 fps and 10 seconds long make sure you keep the duration according to the length of your music just for tutorial sake i'm gonna keep this at 10 seconds hit ok then I can just simply drag and drop in the music that I want to use. I can hit L two times to reveal the waveforms and you know you can select any uh, duration for the music. So I'm gonna select the music from right here. And pretty quickly let's um, give it a simple fade in uh, music. So let's create a keyframe at zero. Let's set this to minus 70 select it and hit f9 so we have a simple you know fade in something like that okay so my music is ready let's create our main animation composition so let's call this main and i'm gonna go with um, 1920 by 1080 make this 30 fps and 10 seconds long hit okay so here we have our main composition let's drag and drop in our music composition into our main comp then I can hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this AS for audio spectrum underscore 01. Hit OK, go into effects and preset and type in audio spectrum, which is an inbuilt effect. So I can just double click to apply that up. Go into the audio layer and let's select our music composition that is music. And now if I play this right off the bat, you can see our audio spectrum is reacting onto our music. So now we can start building up our complete design. So let's play around with the start and end frequency. So I'm going to set the start frequency to 400 and end frequency to 200. Then I can increase or decrease the frequency band depending on the look I want to go with. So let's keep it around 50. That should be good. And I can also increase the maximum height, go really crazy with this if I want to. But let's go somewhere around 1500. So that looks pretty good. You can also play around with the thickness. So, you know, depending on the kind of look you want to go with. I'm going to, let's actually keep this around, let's go with something like 8. We don't need any softness, so I can bring that down to 0. And now if I just preview this. As you can see this is looking pretty nice you are you are you know free to play around with different settings like you can change the display option from digital to analog lines if you want to go with something like that or i can also go with dots really really cool but for now i'm just gonna stick with the digital section also i can change the color so let's go with a nice green color and yeah there we go there we have our first section ready to roll now let's select the layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it put this below let's solo this up so we can focus on the second one firstly i'll change the color of this so let's go with a nice darker pink color something like that and also i'm gonna switch to a different dig display option so I i'm gonna go with the analog lines and then i can bring down the start frequency to one and the end frequency to 2000 so that 
this audio spectrum is animating on the left side instead of animating on the right side so we get variation on in both of these so if i just preview this you can see looks pretty cool you can also you know play around with the height and other different settings if you want to but all i have to do all i want to do is just change the thickness to two or maybe let's go with three yeah that looks much better let's preview this yeah that is looking pretty good actually pretty happy with that let's hit ctrl d again to duplicate this put this below and this is going to be our third variation so let's solo that up let's increase the start frequency to around 400 and the end frequency let's bring that down to 900 also pretty quickly i'm going to change the color keep it a nice yellow color and let's switch to digital again this time i'm gonna actually increase the number of um, bands so let's go really high maybe something like around 200 that looks much better and we have this really cool look as you can see also i can increase the maximum height so let's pull that up to around 1800 let's turn that on and as you can see now we get so much variation into audio spectrum and it is looking super cool let's create one more copy again hit ctrl d put that below solo that up let's bring down the end frequency to around 200 and also the frequency band i'm gonna bring that down to 35 maybe also for the display option i am gonna go with the analog dots so we get this really interesting look as you can see maybe i'll bring that down to bring that up to 40 that is looking much better also for the maximum height I, i'll go with 2200 and for the thickness i think three is enough let's make this white you can of course go with any color that you like but i think white looks good let's see what we get and yep i think this is looking pretty cool maybe i'll increase the height a bit more and now what i can do is one more thing is i can go into effects and preset and add in a mirror effect and let's rotate that up to around 180 and let's pull this up just like that maybe at the center so i think it will be 19 960 by 540 so we get this really cool look as you can see and this is looking just so cool so this is how you can you know duplicate and create more layers and actually create your amazing audio spectrum with different kind of display options so it's very basic but it's very useful i think so yeah that was a quick tutorial on how you can create some really very cool audio spectrum inside of after effects without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this if you did make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out